Alright, so what's going on guys? It's Matters, and we're going to be doing a strictly Easter egg video here for Black Ops 3 Zombies DLC for Revelations. Obviously, it's been almost over four days now since the map released, and we still have not done the Easter egg. We still haven't gotten past step one, which is remarkable. So, I'm going to be going through some new and updated steps, some Reddit posts, a lot of different people trying to figure out a ton of different stuff. Some, we're going to be looking at videos that were sent to Noah J, and he's been trying to figure these out. Some are going to be hints from, you know, multiplayer and stuff hinting that we can't even use perk battles and I think a lot of you guys have heard that before as well and some with crazy light beams and then also some with Shangri-La and this isn't really a perk step but I want to also throw in something regarding Easter egg because there's this Shangri-La quote and there's a bunch of things within the section of Shangri-La of basically these characters dying so we'll hint at that as well and we'll talk about that at some point in this video whenever I decide to do that. So again, if we can go for 500 likes, as always, I'd be greatly appreciated. Last video, we hit over 600 likes. That's absolutely insane, as always. Destroying the like goals, destroying these videos. Seriously, thank you guys so much. It's insane. This Easter egg is a whole other thing as well, man. I can't believe it's still four, it's five days almost. It's crazy. So we're gonna start talking about Easter eggs. 500 likes is our like goal, let's go. So the MP map micro suggests not to drink perk bottles. Again, all the Reddit posts, the links will be in the description. All credit is down there and let's start reading this. So this is what he says. Since I'm the kind of player that plays both zombies and multiplayer today, I jumped in the multiplayer match on the map Micro. And if you guys don't know Micro, there are a bunch of zombies perk bottles scattered around the map, or in a certain section at least. And one is called Dr. Monty's Cream Soda. And after the match, he went into theater mode to find out more of what was written on it and what was it all about. And then he saw this um, quote here and it said, There's nothing in this beverage good for you, so you might as well not drink it. And this is the two images of the bottle's front and the bottle's rear. And this is what he says. There's quite a few of these bottles scattered around, together with all different ki kinds of beverages, obviously, resembling the perks from the game. And there's also ingredients listing on them as well. But one is called Metro Brewery Cider, and it says, The supply taste of a Metro Brew is unlike the subtle shrew. In the morn or in the nine, this beautiful taste makes, makes angels cry. As you unbind a the cap, a chorus sings to the glory, the Pigeon King. I know this is called Fat City Homebrew, and there's a bunch of other random stuff here. And he points out these two pep beverages because it clearly states on the bottle that they are good, while on the Monty one, it says you may as well not drink it. This is not the first zombie related thing we've seen on the DLC maps, obviously, blah blah blah. Um, hope, blah, blah, okay, all this random stuff. And basically, again, we're not so sure exactly what the whole deal is. This, this could be taken two different ways. This is one hint, and a lot of people have been saying in general, this is at least some evidence for it. The easter egg for DLC for Revelations, a lot of people have been saying it's very possible that you literally can't have perks to do it. That would be something huge, and the first theory was like, okay, you know what, Shrek, they want to do that because they know everyone's using Perkaholics, so once they stop using Perkaholics, and once they stop using all these perks and stuff, then they'll be able to actually start the easter egg, because what are the chances of people not playing the whole game without perks? You know, that was the original theory, but now you have these multiplayer theories as well, where the perk battle literally says, do not drink this, this is not good. You have the characters, and if you notice throughout the game on Revelation, the Origins characters are constantly saying, man, Dr. Monty, thank you for the perk, but this does not taste good at all, and it's not good, and blah, blah, blah. Um, it, it's putting an emphasis on these perks are not as good as they seem, and maybe they're hindering our sort of progress into doing Easter egg. I think people need to definitely test it out, people need to try that, it's gonna be hard but that's something they need to do because hints like crazy are moving towards perk battles not being a part of the easter egg, at least for the first step. Maybe we can get perks after the first step, but I think for the first step, and I think a lot of people agree, it's very possible that you cannot use perks based on the multiplayer map micro and the, the quote on it like we just talked about and everything else talking about within the community and using perk products. All right, so next Reddit post here says, possible first Easter egg step discovered. And this is what he says. Firstly, we activated the graves. Secondly, we started the corruption turn in the spawn. We had someone bleed out at one of the four symbols in each corner of the turn. We only had three in a game. This meant we can actually test each of the characters. When someone bleed, bled out on each of these symbols, when they, when they were spectating, they saw a clear flash of light that spread across the ground and that you can only see while you were spectating that other player. When they spawned back, they saw the flash right straight away again, and we tried this with six different games, and the outcome was always the same. In one game, where it was only two of us, we took turns dying on the symbol of each turn. So by the time we had all four turns done, we actually died twice every single time. Um, then we filed having the other person die on the turn that had, had that hadn't died previously, obviously. So everyone got their turn to die and see the flash of light to confirm it for everyone. For example, I didn't die in the spawn area when we were doing the four originally. 
Then we had um, someone die seven times on the symbols, twice at each, twice at each location except for Rucked, but when we died there, this wasn't intentionally um, done and they finished the game. This is just something they randomly did. P.S. We have done all previous Easter eggs and we had no perks. Interesting there. And we just talked about having no perks and progressing through the Easter egg. The flash of light across the ground is the same that directly happened after the turret takes the souls and turns red. If each symbol means consume, we consider the classic obligum impatient to assist this theory as it would stop the proses from going into the ridiculously high rounds. I do have a video, and there's something, a random little video, well he doesn't have full on video of it, but he has something with his phone that he actually was able to see, and I'm not so sure if you can clearly see the lights here, but I'll put the video up on screen, again, credit is in the description, so thank you for that, um, but there you go, I, I, I don't know, it's, it's really interesting, just to actually comment on this as well, there's an updated post, basically this is what it says, everyone please upload this, up, upvote this, so a streamer can confirm there's not a lighting glitch, the second he dies out you can see him give, or you can see him get 100 XP apparently, and um, yeah, if you can get a longer clip, blah blah blah, he's basically saying if we can go on the PS4, just go in theater mode, it's very very simple, so we'll see what happens with that, but I, I don't know. I don't know, you never know what the deal is with this, you never know what the deal is. I think a lot of these perks and a lot of, a lot of not the perks, a lot of the perk theories have been pretty interesting because we haven't been able to progress in any of them. So I think at least having the perk theory is something to look at. And I'm not so sure of the flashes of lights. So let me know in the comments section below if you guys have been hunting for the Easter egg. Have you seen those flashes of lights? Have those been glitches to you guys? Have those been real things? Like, I, I don't know. What do you guys think of dying and seeing those flashes of lights at the different, you know, corruption turrets? That's something, obviously, to look at. We need everything. We need every single possible idea to progress through this Easter egg. So, definitely just another possible step there. So, moving on here, we have another thing. I'll leave a link, again, to the video in the description. It's actually on Twitter. And this is actually seen by NoahJ456 because, apparently, this is what the tweet says. I can't remember if I've seen anything about this laser. And it's some sort of laser hitting the top of the main beacon in the center of Revelations. Now, which what's interesting about this is people will people was like, okay, people were like, yeah, you know what? This split, split screen, and if you see the bottom portion, there's no laser in the top. There's a laser, and it's photoshopped and whatnot. But it's 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 pretty weird because Noah J was actually like trying to get him on the stream. So obviously, when these bigger YouTubers see this stuff, they usually say. That's a glitch. I don't want to see it. I don't really care. Or they say, that's really interesting. Let me check that out. Noah J was actually trying to get in contact with this guy after seeing this video and trying to like figure out like what he actually did. And then once he got on Noah J's stream, apparently they were talking and then he was basically just saying he really doesn't know how he did it. It just happened. You see in the video, I'm pretty sure he's on like round seven. So it wasn't like right off the beginning of the game. So we're not so sure what the deal is with that. It seems to me that they don't have perks as well. That's another thing. They still don't have perks again this perk theory seeming like it's very very possible but again that is basically what happened there we're not so sure again what the whole deal is with this it looks like a glitch honestly it really does but the fact that Noah J really went into it and the fact that we don't have any information as of now I I don't know we'll have to see what happens again another possible you know I guess step there whether or not it's the first step or the second step we're not so sure if he even did the gravestones which is basically the confirmed like half step for the easter egg or something like that um so again it, it's just it's all up in the air right now it really all is all up in the air so now i want to talk about shangri-la because in the portion well here's the reddit post it says shangri-la seems to be a lot more important than we think so when you're in the shangri-la portion and um if you're on shangri-la i'm pretty sure as well in black ops 1 um they basically have some character quotes and it basically says um, and this is what he says here, character quotes in here, there's a common topic for all of them, they died there. Not only that, but they said they died there for the first time. Is this something new and strange? Um, you know, we already had the characters die in hell, they do every time we play zombies, obviously. It's like a re recurring thing, but then they spawn again. But what if they don't spawn again, and the first time they truly die was Shangri-La? Or they're hinting back at Black Ops 1, where something really pivotal happened, and they actually died within Shangri-La, and maybe that's why something happened with Origins, and maybe that's why the universe is split. It, it doesn't, we're not so sure what the deal is with that. Again, Shangri-La back in Black Ops 1, it, it, it was a really weird map, and it didn't give us so much backstory. There's a lot of different theories with that map, a lot of different crazy theories. But it didn't give us that much backstory as like the Origins characters. There aren't a lot of theories between the Origins characters and Shangri-La. But I do think it's very possible that maybe there is some sort of thing between the Origins characters being within Shangri-La, dying there, and now they're revisiting it within Revelations. Or 
maybe they're gonna die again or die for the first time within the Revelations version of Shangri-La. And obviously those are just straight from the character quotes on the game, so it's not like a random theory. The characters are literally saying like, this is the first place where I tied. And they don't, they don't always say that. Like I know that sometimes they make these different jokes of, oh no, I'm gonna die if I don't get ammo. And this, they make this different, I just dropped something. They make just, they make all just different random things. Um, but this is a bit more serious. Now this is a bit more different than just a random quote about them dying. So I, I don't know. It seems pretty interesting. We'll have to see what Shangri-La has to do with this game, with the Easter egg. We're not even on the first step, honestly. We need to figure that out first, but I thought I'd add this in because a reoccurring thing with DLC for Revelations is that quite simply, they're going to die. A lot of people have been saying, how is the Easter egg for Revelations going to end? It's going to be this massive Easter egg, but how is it going to end? And people were flat out saying, I think the best case scenario is that they're, they're going to die. Like It just makes sense. They, it just makes sense for them to die. Dr. Monty doesn't, want, doesn't really want them to be in this universe regardless. He wants his own new universe, and those characters bring about zombies and bring about the corruption of the old universe so Dr. Monty doesn't want those characters either living or doesn't want the characters in his universe so based on that they they might actually die so let me know let me know what you guys think about this man I think it's really really interesting and yeah hopefully we can progress through this easter egg I want to see something I want to see like some like hope because I feel like everyone's almost like giving up and I don't really I don't really want everyone to give up honestly this is a really fun map, and I really much just want to see some people like get started and just find some insane stuff. And I don't know, it, it'll happen soon. It'll happen soon. We'll have to see what happens. Um, but yeah, definitely check those out. Try to figure out these steps here. Obviously, the gravestone one we know, the beam one, and uh, you know, it, it, it's interesting. It seems like a lot of these are glitches as of now. It, it, we're at the point where anything we see, we need to take seriously because since we don't have any steps in the Easter egg. Anything we see really would matter and really matters, get it, <laughs> right now for, you know, trying to find out this Easter egg. So, I don't know. Let me know. I think that's what you guys did enjoy. And, yeah, leave a like. See you guys later. Goodbye.